So earlier this week, Nike announced that they would be shutting down their corporate offices for a week so that their workers uh, could focus on their mental health. And while some people are touting this as such a great move and it shows how dedicated and how invested they are in the, in the well-being and the health of their employees, I'm just going to come right out and say it. I'm calling BS on this. Because for one, <clears throat> while the, the, the office folk are going to have a week off to, and, I'm, and you can't see me, but I'm using air quotes, to recuperate and recharge, for the thousands of retail employees and distribution center folks and all of them, it's business as usual for them. Because, hey, who cares about their mental health? And see, here's the thing. And it, and <clears throat> I am going to bang on Nike a little bit, but it is true of of anyone of any any type of retail where there's a retail side and a corporate side. There is people. Some people like to say that there's a disconnect. <laughs> oh, oh, it is so much more than that. It's not a disconnect. It is a freaking chasm because these people, they they do not understand what the, these folks have to deal with. If anyone needs mental health breaks, it's those people in the stores. Because <clears throat> if we're talking about release days, it's those people who have to, in some cases, plan um, and deal with that and, and in some cases are in the danger zone because you know how, how people get over these releases. They, they will lose... They're cotton-picking minds if, if heaven forbid that they don't have their size or the shoe is not there or if there's some perceived wrong or, or a shipment doesn't get there. It's those folks who are there getting cussed at and cussed out, never mind the fact that in some cases they had to get up at the booty crack of dawn to be there. The folks who are, <laughs> who are making these decisions, guess where they are? They're asleep. When the holidays roll around, Thanksgiving and Christmas and all these other, um, these folks were home with their families. And as we just saw uh, uh, with the pandemic, <clears throat> a lot of the stores, I mean, they were operating in some cases with skeleton crews and, and whatnot, but they were there, right there, <laughs> facing the public for no good reason. But you know who, who was safely it was the corporate people so and and let me and let me back up and that's just the, the 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 stuff on certain occasions that's not even the fact that at a lot of these these places and i'm going to speak specifically of, of companies that i know <clears throat> whether whether it's people and and this is male and female dealing with uh sexual harassment and other forms of harassment and mistreatment. And they don't have anyone to turn to because <clears throat> anyone who has worked in, in a retail environment know that, that you're the most crapped on. Human resources is never there to help you. I can tell you of places I have worked and <clears throat> the people knew it was so bad. They knew the HR hotline by heart. They didn't have to go to the little poster in the bedroom, uh, not bedroom, uh, bathroom or the break room. It was called that much. And it wasn't for legitimate reasons. You know, someone didn't give you a day off. This was real legitimate situations where, you know, the buzzword is, is, is talking about creating these sorts of hostile and, and I hate to use the word toxic work environments. But that's what uh, happened so much in some of these, these retail establishments, these people, they don't get paid much and they get treated like trash. <clears throat> but, you know, damn their mental health. They're not important. Even though those people in those re retail stores, those distribution centers, are even the reason why you get to have these, these fancy stock calls and you get to put these new buildings up and you get to get these seven and eight figure bonuses, it's off their backs. That's, that's the reason 
that, that you're able to, to have these sorts of things. And then when it comes time to, to show them the tiny bits of appreciation, to maybe give them some mental health time off, you know, <laughs> they give it to the corporate people. And I get it. I get it at a certain level. You have a business to run. You don't have to give all, I don't know, <clears throat> I don't have the numbers in front of me, but thousands upon uh, uh, retail people that you have, I don't know, stagger it out. There, there's a way to where that can be done and business can still get done. But <clears throat> that will require actual forethought and care and not looking at these, these people like numbers that you just chew through to get to a goal on a, on a sheet or, or, or an email that you get to send off. And <clears throat> I don't know what it is because in many of these instances, and, and it's not just true of Nike, it seems to be true of, of so many of these, these retail companies. They just do not get it at all. They don't get it at all. You know, a lot of the people that care the most about the company that would be the flag carriers that would actually work to try to make it better, not only um, from a performance standpoint, but for the people, they never, um, they never get put in a position to even have a shot to, to, to get in those positions to try to get in there and make change. Um, be it to just the, the politics, um, you get chewed up at, at, the, at those lower levels and you never get there. It seems to be that the, the only way you can, can get there is, is being a, a crumb bum or laying on your back or on your knees or whatever the case may be. So a lot of times those very people that you would want in those positions, they're gone. They, they get chewed up and, and spit out and move on to other things. So you just have these people who are just there and their whole thing is protecting a spot um, and they're going to do what they can that's in their best interest and not in the best interest of, of A, the other uh, their colleagues at lower levels um, or B, the people that they serve. <laughs> and that leads to, to some of the issues that you, you have. You talk to, to retail people across the board and the complaints are, are absolutely the same. And, and this is just an example of that. You know, it's rules for thee and, and not for me. And uh, to just sit here and, and, and read about this, which by the, um, the picture, um, it was from, uh, let me tell you, we posted it um, on our website uh, at sneakershoptalk.com. Um, if you want the uh, original, I believe it was on Business Week and KGW News um, as well. But at any rate, uh, you know, it, I just saw it and it was, I just found it, I just found it to be in, insulting. And it's another, yet another um, slap in the face for the very people who make all of, all of these things possible. You know, and, and I could, I could make a separate 30 minute video uh, just talking about how these people get done wrong. You know, I, I, I'm certainly not trying to get in Camelot's lane, but he does an excellent job of, of bringing a lot of these stories out. And, and some people may, may watch the videos or, or whatnot and hear these stories and say, no, that's not possible. Oh, oh, you talk to anyone who, who's been in retail, myself included. That, those stories, not only possible, they are probable and they are happening. Even as I'm speaking right now, even whether you watch this today, tomorrow, or 10 years in the future, the same things are still going to be happening. You know, whether you have, <laughs> and I know this to be true, um, companies will give their workers bonuses and then take them away. But not only, they, they take it away under the guise of giving them a paltry 25 to 50 cent raise. Um, and then when, when you map it out, 
the company makes money, but the employee actually loses money. And I have been in situations to where, <laughs> for whatever reason, the company may have overpaid on, on a bonus. And made their employees actually pay the money back. A multi, multi-billion dollar company trying to ex- extract money out of, out of their, their core workers. They could have just ate that and kept it moving. But that's the type when it comes to, to how they deal with the very people who make what they do possible. The callousness, the lack of caring. They, they, just look at, they just look at those people as a means to an end. How we get there, it doesn't matter. As long as we get to our bottom line and make our stockholders happy, we don't care how many people we have to crush and step on in the process. And that's the problem there. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I don't know. I haven't really uh, at least seen anyone in the the really mainstream media or the sneaker media really talk about this. I'm sure it will it will come up on, on some of the other uh, podcasts, but I needed to, to kind of give my take on it. Um, but uh, in wrapping this video, what do you think? If you have worked in in any sort of retail, and it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, athletic footwear focused, it can be any level. Uh, do you have any horror stories? What do you think about this this particular move by Nike? Would love to know your thoughts on it. I didn't want to ramble on too long. I talked longer than I intended, but it's something that that I can relate to intimately. Um, but be sure to uh, to check back for more more videos. Also, uh, head over to our our website. Like I said, uh, sneakershoptalk.com. Um, as, and, uh, also head over to our merchandise shop to check out some of our fine wares. We just made some additions to the store over there. The links to both will be in the description of this video. So I appreciate you spending a few moments with us. We'll be back with more videos real soon. Peace.